Hello and welcome back to Bug Snacks. <clears throat> um How's it going? It's going fine. Hey Tripany, what's going on? Uh nice you. What's up? Crumble is quite the singer. OMG. That explains why he's always so jealous of Wiggle. Does it? Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. Okay. Uh, do you want a mini mock? There you go. I'm giving these to people. Oh. Oh no, it's stuttering. And by stuttering, I mean lagging. I have to exit out and hey, Tiffany, what's going go on? back in. Nice to see ya. Oh golly. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, hold on, stuff is happening. Or you what? You're the one keeping secrets. You can't touch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think mm -hmm. I'm the only one who's sick of your gossip girl stick, huh? Sooner or later, you're gonna be back in your cave all by yourself. Whatever. At least then, I wouldn't have to hear your slimy voice. <laughs> Alright, running much better. As is the happens. Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 hey. bum. Hey! Hey yourself, pal. Like, golly, man. What's this? <clears throat> I'm just exploring. Hey there, Snacks, bird. You want something? Hello. Salutations. Have time for an interview or goodbye? Goodbye. Well, Actually, you know what? Nah, I'm here. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. I'm only after the truth. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. Okay. Who are you? I am Flufty Frizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. Gastroentomologist. What is a gastroentomologist exactly? In baby language, baby I snacks. study bug snacks and their effect on grumpus. Baby language. In the lame man's term. To study bug snacks, obviously. Ah, yes. They didn't know what bug snacks were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, <clears throat> I observed <clears throat> something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Okay. Thoughts on bug snacks? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Oh, Emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Why did you leave town? I simply wanted to continue my work, Agabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Uh, is it true that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Oh, why is there a severed leg in your hut? Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? Any info on this, Bert? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What about Egabel? Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who interfered? Shelda. That mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. So what happened? Ultimately, 
Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Any final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Cool. All right. Hi. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Uh, want to eat a mini mac? Uh, teeth. <laughs> okay. Nice tifos. Where's the stump, Snorpy? I removed it with my digging device. It took five minutes. Bro! Thanks. Anytime, Chandlo. Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Hello. How's your research? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's um a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks i want to follow in the writer's footsteps so uh if it's not too much trouble would you want to go exploring with me that sounds oh, lovely you're too kind the first place of note is in flavor falls meet me there whenever's good for you <laughs> all right All right, we're here. <clears throat> All righty. What we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. I know what a pinkle is. Same, 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 same. Here's a pinkle. Pinkle. I have to knock him out. Where's the big stone grumpus face? Is it this way? Is this it? It is. Evidence of an ancient grumpus activity if they live in this cave. Mm. I just did. Hmm. Oh, hello. Did I get you already? Yeah, I did. This sticky glob of this evidence of bug snack appears as bug snack, but only appears when it rains. Mm. This actually must be hundreds of years old. It's a pink gold. Somewhere a bit better. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think it will let me. anything. Let's see. Pinkle. Pinkle. They like ranch. Alright, what about the sub -sanity? They love ranch, too. Alright, uh... Ranch. Oh. Let's see. And splat. There. Wait for the sand up. Here he comes. You didn't kill him now? There you go. Pinkle. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Are these the stone grumpuses you want me to? Scan. Breakable such as this, such as brittle and easy to seem conveniently built beneath a stalactite. Hmm. Statues scattered yeah. around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. I found the stone grumps. There would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, lived very close the writer though. thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug mm -hmm. snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. That's everything, well, right? I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. I want to eat your nose Let's now. Back to Snacksburg for now. <laughs> That's a relief. I need to catch you. What an incredibly rude fruit. Lol of lol of lol of. What did they like? The cheese sauce, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna catch you now, you punk. <clears throat> hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Boom, green wallow.
floofy. Snorpington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpy naughty scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. Uh -huh. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. Hmm. Interesting. returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is, one would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Shell Dog. Ah, yes, uh, wisdom. Um, the strength you seek cannot be found within toxins. For the Truest strength is the will to resist. Oh, I get it. I gotta check my snacks. And if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, uh. one is not. You. Oh, clearly, you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. <laughs> this is stupid. Here. Uh, do you want a mini mac? Mini mac. For your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ah, another fine day behind us. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. I'm on fire now. Whee! Hmm. <laughs> like a campfire. Yeah, campfires are pretty cool. I suppose. Boing out. Like a campfire. Yeah. Shut up. Wake up. It's morning. Doing good? Yeah, I have a present. Here you go. Your teeth. Or not. You're going back to sleep. Okay. That's whatever. Let's go. Catch a buffalo kiss. Mm. 
Hmm. The season scenes. You. Wait, my dude. Sorry, I guess I went too fast for you. No, activate. Yay! Good job. Stop, Jackara! I caught a buffalo fist. I have the snack for sure. Now hand it over and watch me work. Okay. Oh, man, I am stuffed thanks to my friend here. I couldn't eat another snack. Guess I'll just throw away this delicious buffalo kist. Did you say buffalo kist? Oh, hold on now, Cromdo. I'd be happy to take it. Take it? I don't do charity, Triff. Ah, uh, what do you want for it? Well, I happen to be in a market for a treasure map. Never mind. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's the deal here? I'm not letting a crook like you get a hold of that map. You'll just swipe the bug snacks and sell them off. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, 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 eesh. Eesh. <laughs> so much for that, eh, pal? Ready to go exploring? Yeah. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the Boiling Bay. Let's All go. Ready. See you there. <laughs> Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If yeah, you don't fine. mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. A pair toss. Scan a treasure chest. Oh, I know where a treasure chest is. Hey, pal. Wanna come at me? Too bad, you're gonna have to work for it. Treasure chest. Pirate treasure seems as if it has already been looted. Game's gonna explode now. And snag. I have a pill toss. One. Uh, teeth, nose, head, right hand, left hand. There you go. Oh, uh, so much for your hat anymore. You know, Flutie's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. Grumpbeard. You could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? I found the treasure. That settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. Mm. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago. 
but I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how yeah. your story ends. I can take that tree down. I can't find anything. She's not here either. Who? Oh. Who's not here? I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was gonna explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here. To find out what became of her. <sighs> Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. Okay. Oh, that's how I get the guy down. I love this sandwich mohawk. <sighs> uh, let's see. Uh, lip. Hmm. She would, would she? Hmm. Are you sleeping? Purify, wait, what? Yes, child. Time for an interview. When one asks questions, one may receive answers. Start interview. Who are you? One is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? <gasps> a calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying, they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. Huh. Was Bert held a raffle? A raffle is a metaphor. Uh, but yes. Thoughts on bug snacks? The toxin. The mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. One feels them crawling around us, beneath us, inside us. Who's the mother anyway? Mother Nature. The mother. She, the purest light, from whom all life flows. Why did you leave town? One cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet, lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by an example. So it was. One got very, very lost. <laughs> Any info on Lisbert? She, the huntress, is gone from us. Strayed from the mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. Doom, can you be more specific? A doom of toxin unending! The 
ground shakes. The sky splits. Look not upon it. Move not an inch or be swallowed by the queen of venom. Or so I heard. Oh, okay. You're a fraud, aren't you? Everyone is a fraud in a sense. You're dodging the question. Thanks, that was all very unhelpful. Ever are more questions asked, seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. Okay. A vessel of the unknown. May answers be found in its mystery. You don't need a key to open it. I think I have a key. Mystery key. Number five. Cool. But I think we'll watch this next time. Because I have to go to the bathroom. So leave a like, subscribe, do all that. Yeah, I'll see you next time.